AITA for refusing to join my half-brother's 16th birthday vacation? There's a lot of history behind this. I'm at 16M, turning 17 soon, and I live with my dad. My parents are divorced, but there's a twist. They were already divorced when I was conceived, just a couple of weeks after their split. My dad has always been clear that he wanted to be part of my life, but he and my mom didn't reconcile. While my mom was pregnant with me, she met her current husband, Dan. Things were awkward, especially when Dan showed up at the hospital when my mom was in labor, but my dad was the one in the delivery room. It got even more complicated when my mom and Dan got engaged. Dan wanted to take me out of state for four nights without my mom. Since my dad needed to give permission for this, he refused. Dan argued that he would be my second dad, and I should grow up with two dads, insisting that he should be trusted enough to take me on that trip. Dan has always spoken badly about my dad, repeating bringing up that incident and saying that my dad treated him like less of a parent. He also still brings up how my dad didn't let him in the delivery room, which makes me think he's still holding on to jealousy over that. Dan has even mentioned my parents' divorce before I was born. Because of all this, I've always resented Dan, and my loyalty lies with my dad. I rejected Dan at every turn, and Dan blamed my dad for that. My mom never told Dan to stop, and she encouraged us to spend time together. I made Dan's life difficult when I was younger, retaliating for how he spoke about my dad. I also caused a few public scenes when Dan tried to make it seem like he was my dad, even doing this in front of my half-brother. To be honest, I probably dislike Dan as much as Dan dislikes my dad. My half-brother has always been aware of the tension between Dan and me, and as a result, he dislikes my dad on Dan's behalf. He doesn't agree with how I treat Dan, which leads to frequent arguments between us. My half-brother tries to convince me that Dan is a better dad and that I should treat him with more respect. We simply don't get along, and I can honestly say that I don't love or care about my half-brother. There's no loyalty between us. We've never had a good relationship, and we argue constantly about Dan and my dad. Things took a turn for the worse when I told my half-brother that I would never like or respect Dan and that if Dan and my mom divorced, I'd be glad to never see them again. My half-brother feels that Dan deserves better. Last year, I couldn't stand living at my mom's house anymore, so my dad asked the judge to change custody arrangements. After an interview, custody was changed, and now I live with my dad full-time, though I'm still required to visit my mom's house one weekend a month until I turn 18. My half-brother is turning 16 in May, and my mom has promised him a birthday vacation. She wanted to confirm dates with me so we could all go, but I told her I wasn't going. I made it clear that I'm not celebrating her other son's birthday and won't be doing so in the future either. She got upset, started crying, and asked why things had to be this way. She told me we're family, and one day I might regret losing a brother. I stood my ground and told her I wasn't changing my mind, which led to her saying I was being unfair to everyone. Ita.